Roaring Run, Race to the Moon, 5K, finished second overall in 1835. It was a way better performance than I was expecting. The way I've been feeling the last week or so with the heat and humidity, just shitty training runs in general, I really didn't think I was going to be able to put down an 18 and a half or anything close to that. Um, I was actually shooting for like a 19, 19 and a half um, top 10 type finish. To, so to take second in 1835, it's kind of shocking. Um, I mean, obviously I'm capable of that when I'm in shape, but I just feel like I'm not. But it's also mid-70s when we started today. Um, so it's not as bad. So my body had a little bit more energy per se or was able to breathe a little bit better than it has been at some of these other hotter races. Um, so I was able to regulate a hell of a lot better than I have been. So that probably led to my performance. Um, I didn't really ever redline or completely push myself where I was going to burn up. I tried to keep myself under control um, and steady the whole time. I'm not sure what exactly my splits were. Um, but the race actually starts at 9 p.m. Um, so it is an actual night race in, in the summertime. The weird thing about this to note is you have to park about a mile and a half away and get bussed in. You can't really park at the trailhead area. Um, so that does suck. So you have to get here a little bit early. Um, I think I left the house at 7, got here, well, a little after 7. I got here about 10 after 8. And I got on the bus right away. I got lucky. So I was probably here, I think, about 20 after 8. So I did get lucky this year. I didn't have to wait around a lot. There wasn't a line when I got here. There was really nobody here yet. I, I would say less than half the field was here when I got here at like 20 after 8. Um, or I could just be mistaken. Who knows? Uh, <clears throat> talked to some friends before the race. Everybody was sort of trying to gauge what their performance was going to be, how they planned on um, doing their race strategy and stuff like that what times they thought they were going to put down um got asked by a couple of people <clears throat> what i was going to do and i told them that 19 19 and a half um because a couple of kids asked me about staying with me <clears throat> um but i actually told them that i you know i wasn't expecting to do that um i even started a couple rows back um, so i didn't get caught up in that mayhem it always happens in the front of the race um, it actually wasn't bad this year last year there was like 10 kids that took off went out really fast for a couple of tents and then they slowly dropped off this year there really wasn't um there was just a group of like say four of us after like a tenth of a mile <clears throat> they're really separated from the rest of the pack i don't know what was going on behind us um, i didn't look back at all until after the halfway point um, but it is a good race what i like about this race even though it's a night race and you have to have a headlamp I'll get to that little fiasco in a minute. But they have gallon jugs lined up along the trail on both sides the whole way out. So obviously on the way back, you're going to have the same thing. And there has to be hundreds, I don't know how many hundreds of gallon jugs that they have little like candles in them so you could see along the trail. And with like the full moon that we had, you really didn't need a headlamp at all. Even though you're supposed to have one, I had one. Um, I got the all that for it, but you actually really didn't need it. At least I didn't need it. I could see the ground pretty good, but for safety reasons, people did need to have them on so they could see people coming and they didn't bump into each other. Um, but a few of us got away with not wearing them just because other people had them on, and then the trail was so lit up, and I could see well enough where I didn't need it. And I was drafting basically the whole time. So somebody else had a light that I was just using, uh, if you want to put it that way. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so on the way out, uh, the kid who won was in the lead the whole time. He's a really good high school kid. Um, I told myself, don't chase. Don't even get into that chase mode. Just let him do his thing because you know you're not going to beat him. So there's no point in even trying to do anything um, to affect his race. So I hung with a group of uh, 
two people, Ron and this redhead kid, basically the whole way out to the turn, almost to the whole way to the turn, <clears throat> just drafting off of them. I tucked in pretty nice. I think I even passed the redhead kid um, a little over a mile in. He started to fall back a little bit. And then Luke passed us all up um, maybe a tenth or two before the turnaround. Um, <clears throat> sort of sparked my uh, competitive side, I guess. Um, the turnaround is if you come on this the Apollo side of the trail, it's maybe 50 yards if that past the, the bridge that they built, which is a nice bridge. They had that lit up as well. Um, yeah, so then Luke passed us. I was, like I said, I was running comfortably, drafting, um, keeping my heart rate in check, um, just trying to keep my breathing in check. Even though I was running at a faster pace than I wanted to, I still had things under control. Let me see if I can pull up my splits real quick. So my laps were 556 minutes, 606. Um, my heart rate for that first mile was only 148, then 162, then 169. So it was climbing. Um, obviously, I was probably pushing a little bit more in that third lap. My body started to get redlined a little bit. But I would say it's still more of a tempo pace than a redline pace. But then when Luke passed <clears throat> me up, um, it was like, it was Luke, Ron, and then me. Um, I don't know what was happening behind us after the turn. Um, so Luke was in second, then Ron dropped it mile two. And then it was just me and Luke the rest of the way into the finish line. I was just gonna be happy to draft off of him um, and take third and then he get, sort of gave me an opening he seemed to slow down real, real quick and not wanting to lose stride I moved around him because um, I wanted to stay behind him for another reason which was the light using his light so I didn't have to pull mine out of my pants um, and put it on <clears throat> but with him just like right on my ass I was still using his light <coughs> on the way back um, he did pull up beside me a couple of times. I did. I even told him after the race, I felt like he was sandbagging it a little bit and didn't push as hard as he could have. Um, Cause I could just feel his energy like pull back a couple of times as he came up beside me. Um, and I just kept looking at my watch. I was like, all right, I got like a half mile left, you know, three tenths left type deal. Um, and he came up beside me once, I think probably three tenths to two tenths left in the race. And I was like, all right, all right, he's going to make his move. He's going to make his move. And then he didn't make his move and uh, ended up finishing in front of him. I did look back three or four times. I would say six tenths left in the race. I started looking back um, just to see how much gap or what was going on behind me. Um, I, I would say we had 10 seconds from fourth I'd have to look at the finishing time to know exactly um, but we had a nice gap behind us where there was no like immediate threat to come and pass us so that was pretty nice um, so it was you know me and Luke were guaranteed second and third as long as we didn't do nothing stupid and I think we we were talking afterwards we were both kind of fine with that as long as we got our trophy which pretty nice little looking trophy I like this blue I know the blue is probably not going to come out well in the video. Um, obviously, if you're listening to this, you're not going to see it. But the nice little thing underneath. Um, <clears throat> shirt's in my bag, so I can't show you the shirt. But anyway, um, yeah, so I did draft most of the race. It was using other people to my advantage because I was trying to keep myself calm and collected and not turn and burn since I wasn't going for time. I just I was hoping for a top three if everything fell into place to get a trophy. Um, but again, I was realistically thinking top 10 was probably going to be about the best I was going to do because I was expecting a lot more younger kids to show up that could throw down, you know, an under 18s, but that didn't happen. Um, so there is that. I know we got yelled at 
as we came into the finish line, a couple of us, because we didn't have our lights on. Um, some people just turned them off right before they crossed. Me, I just had mine in my pocket the whole time just because I didn't need it. Um, but again, for safety reasons, we at least had to have them on us and we should have had them on, but whatever. Guys like, oh, you guys are disqualified. You don't have them on. I'm like, oh, whatever. So I did get kind of pissed for like 15, 20 minutes. So it's like, oh, whatever. I was like, disqualify, disqualify second place for not having a light. I was like, just whatever. I mean, not that it matters. I didn't care. Um, but I wasn't trying to be mean either. So I just ran and actually me, Ron, and Amy went and ran and got our vehicles. Um, afterwards, it's sort of a cool down. Um, just to save some time later instead of getting on the buses. Um, not that it really matters. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I enjoyed the race again. Thought it was a good time. Did better than expected. Um, I got a gift card for some grottas or something in Ford City. 25 bucks i gave it to this one guy i was talking to on the bus I'm, he's like 70 some oh, he's really in shape dude he's a very impressive guy crap i can't remember his name real quick um anyway i gave it to him since he said he would use it because by the time i get down to ford city it'll be another hour drive but um got my trophy um they have like a goodie bag or whatever the t-shirt that comes in they had, what, Fox's Pizza. They had some good cookies. And then watermelon. I know last year they had some awesome watermelon. They had it again this year. And a bunch of door prizes. And obviously, because I got that gift card. So, um, other than that, that's about it. Going to head home now. Um, I feel good. I felt good all race. Um, definitely could have pushed a little bit more and harder. Um, not sure if I would have blown up or not. But I probably could have been in the low 18s for sure. Don't think I could have broken the, the 17s at all. But it's a flat rail trail, the part that we run on. I know on the way out, I think I had 20 feet of gain. I don't know if that seems right or not. Um, probably not. But it, again, it is a flat rail trail. So there really is not much gain, but on the way out, it's I would say it's more uphill. Um, well, I got 30 feet total, so that's that's about right. Because when I looked at my watch, I had 20 on the way out of gain and 11 feet of descent. So 30 30 would be correct. Um, so yeah, it's pretty flat. And again, on the way out, it's more of that uphill than downhill. Even though you really don't notice it per se, um, but it does feel a little bit easier running back. Um, and just the way they have the course lit up is really nice. Again, I'll stress that. And it's just a really organized race and how they do things. The only thing that I complain about is having to ride the bus, which really isn't a big deal, um, but it's just something different having at 9 p.m. race and actually having to use a, a light uh, in the middle of summer. So something different to try if you get a chance. The Roaring Run, Race to the Moon, 5K in Apollo. <clears throat> this is what, mid-July. Uh, mid I don't even know what date it is. It's the 20th. Um, it should be about the same weekend-ish every year. I don't know if they do it for the full moon. They plan with that. But last year it was like a full moon, but it was raining. Um but it still shined through enough where you really didn't need a light. And this year is, I think tomorrow is the actual full, full moon. Um, so yeah, I guess race to the moon, they do sort of co coincide with a full moon. I don't, I don't know if it's planned or just coincidence. The both years I did it, it was about a full moon. So who knows, but whatever, did good. I'm gonna head home, watch some movies and get some sleep.